The ridged non-stitch pattern is created with a stitch multiple of 3 plus 2 and a row repeat of 4 rows. The result on one side is a open work style pattern, while on the opposite side a very uniquely different grid. And here's how it's done. Row 1 in this stitch pattern couldn't be simpler. All you do is knit every stitch to the end of the row. Row 2 is the interesting part of this stitch pattern. It starts with one knit stitch. Then bring your yarn to the front and you're going to purl three stitches together. Now do this using only the tips of your two needles. Now leaving the stitches on the left needle, slide the right needle down so that that purl stitch is resting on the shaft of the needle. Then take your yarn and wrap the right needle once. Now slide it back up, insert the tip back into those three stitches that you have purled and purl them again. Slide those three stitches back down the needle and you see what you get? Two short wraps around your needle and one long wrap. And this is what we repeat. Now it's important to understand that when you're working this row that you are using the tips of your needles to purl the three stitches together, but you're using the shaft of your right needle to determine the correct size of your stitches that you're creating, because it's the, the actually the circumference of this needle that creates and defines the size of every stitch. So let me repeat. You'll take the, right, the tip of the right needle, insert it into those three stitches, and using only the tips of the two needles, purl the three stitches together. Now keeping those three stitches on the tip of your left needle, slide the stitch on your right needle down, and wrap that shaft of your needle once. Then moving back up again, insert the tip of your right needle into those three stitches and purl them a second time. Now when you're at the last stitch in your row, just knit one stitch. You have worked two rows. So now to work the third and the fourth row, all you do is knit every stitch to the end of each row. Now continue to work that four row repeat until you reach your desired length. And there you have the ridged knot stitch pattern. Hello, I'm James Cox and I can't stop knitting.